Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman, and this is The Largely Catechized Life. Okay, Eighth Commandment. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. Now, you can take just sort of the surface level. You shouldn't lie about people in a court of law. But since most of us don't take the witness stand on a regular basis, and we're in the large catechism, we can find just a whole lot more. Namely, that God actually cares about what people think of you. Luther writes, For it is intolerable to live among men in open shame and general contempt. Therefore God wishes the reputation, good name, and upright character of our neighbor to be taken away or diminished as little as his money and possessions, and that everyone may stand in his integrity before wife, children, servants, and neighbors. In the Eighth Commandment, Luther calls us to see that your reputation is a gift from God every bit as much as money or possessions, and honestly, it's a little bit more fragile too. See, you can steal my wallet and it'd be bad, it'd be a sin, I wouldn't like it, but I can get a new wallet. I mean, honestly, you can stab me and it'll hurt and it'll be a sin, but I can go to the doctor and get stitches and be back to normal in a month or so. But if you ruin my reputation, well, that's a whole lot harder to fix, isn't it? This is something that's rampant in high school. The idea that reputation is not a valuable thing, that to gossip does no damage. Look around and see the pain that's caused. Words do cut deeper than knives. I don't care what nursery rhyme you learned about it. Words have power. God shaped everything that we see with words. Words do stuff, and so God commands in the Eighth Commandment that we use our words to help our neighbor. We should fear and love God that we do not tell lies about our neighbor, betray him, slander him, or hurt his reputation, but defend him, speak well of him, and explain everything in the kindest way so that he can stand with integrity, so that he can be welcomed by his family and friends, so that they might be able to see them the way that God sees him, as holy, precious, worthy of love. In the Eighth Commandment, God says your reputation is a good gift. It's something worth defending. He says the same about your neighbor. And when we do this commandment, when we're careful to uphold our neighbor's reputation, when ours, our own, are defended, life goes a whole lot easier. Higher Things thanks you for your support. Please continue to support the work we do with youth by going to our website at higherthings.org, clicking on the support and donating securely through PayPal. Your gift helps us in our mission to support pastors, youth workers, and parents in daring our church's youth to be Lutheran. HigherThings.org slash support. Give today.